well versed as I am with the noble art of table tennis, I confess to never having played a video game based on the sports club pastime. Possibly because there are scant few in existence, or possibly because casually I avoid sports games like the plague. Throw the ball in the air to serve with A and hit B to connect with the ball at the right time. You don't need to follow the ping pong rules where you serve across the diagonal, just hitting your side then the opponent's side is enough. All other functionality is operated by B plus a direction. B and left or right will angle your shot slightly that way, not by much admittedly, and holding down with B will play a conservative lob shot, good if the game is getting a little too quick and you just want to make a safe return. Up will do a kind of spin shot, where the ball will dramatically alter its trajectory after it hits the table once. As the AI gets progressively more difficult, these shots become more frequent against you, and the trick is, if you're up against one, do not attempt to play one back, it almost never works, with the ball going straight into the net. You don't need to move your bat, it'll automatically move for you, but if the ball is not in close proximity, you can switch between forehand and backhand by using the directional buttons. You can play in a tournament or in a versus mode against 8 competitors from different countries. Each game is first to 11 points, and the match is best of 3 games. Tournament mode takes you through countries in order from Poland to China. Beating the lot of them lets you play against the grand champion, a panda in a surprise twist that definitely no one saw coming. After each victory, you get a four-digit password, so don't feel like you have to plow through them all in one sitting. Entering 1199 on the password screen gives you access to a rudimentary stopwatch, the reason for which I have no idea, but it's there. The graphics are pretty effective, you're just a bat yourself, but the opponents are varied in design, with praiseworthy animation throughout. Everything is very clear, including a kind of motion blur trail following your ball. This helps to not only pinpoint the ball, but also its direction and speed, a simple design choice that goes a long way to improving the experience. The hit detection matches up with what's on screen, so you can't blame your losses on cheap game design. Commendable is the gameplay, sure, it's simple but totally functional, and that was definitely not always the case with sports games. Perhaps the fact you don't actually have to move your bat might seem strange, and I wonder how much this choice was influenced by the desire instead to have more control over your shot selection. The controls are straightforward, but allow you to develop plenty of skill, and the difficulty curve in tournament mode is absolutely perfect. The AI have different levels of aggression too. The character representing China basically smashes every shot, which if you've ever seen them at the Olympics you know how accurate that is meaning you're going to have to be super defensive and hold your nerve until an opening appears. If you want to beat the bear at the end, you're going to have to be very good indeed.